um, obviously it was kind of a tale of two halves in many ways for our team, uh, but credit to Coach Hugs. Congratulations to him on moving up the list. Um, certainly a legend in our game from a coaching standpoint, and uh, credit to his team for bouncing back and finding a way. Uh, obviously had been struggling a little bit here in the last few weeks, just really just playing Big 12 basketball, lost to some really good teams, um, and they responded the right way today. Our team, on the other hand, you know, we got off to a good start. Uh, I thought we missed some opportunities in the first half that kind of felt like if we didn't get a little bit more separation, we'd come back and, and hurt us, and that certainly played out that way. Coach, you had a, Huggins had a different starting lineup tonight than he's had all season. Um, were you expecting that, or, or were you surprised by it? Um, I mean, I don't know if I try to um, overthink the adjustments the other guy's going to make. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of good players, and um, um, I wasn't necessarily surprised that he made some changes considering they lost three in a row, right? Uh, so as a coach, your job is to try to find ways to help your team have success that may be small things that you can change like that, and it certainly I think it helped. Um, you know, Sherman obviously got off to a really good start. And uh, he was a big key for him all throughout the game. Did it change your game plan at all? Not really. Um, I mean, we we you know we kind of are, are who we are at this point. Uh, we're a team that's got to try to get the ball inside and and get ourselves to the free throw line as much as we can. Uh, we did it early. Uh, we missed some opportunities in transition. We missed some layups. We had a couple turnovers and we missed a couple free throws. That again, it's instead of at halftime it being. Um, what was it at halftime? A five-point game. Maybe if it's ten or twelve, maybe they don't feel as good coming out of the locker room, and then they make the three at the end, very end of the half, which kind of, you know, in some ways swung the momentum, and, and then they obviously got to a really good start in the second half as well. Coach, uh, apologize for already answered this, but th so the second half, that for shooting really well the first half, despite missing a few. Second half, he just couldn't buy one for about ten minutes. Good shots, West Virginia's defense. I mean. Now, I always believe, I mean, our players don't go out there and intentionally play bad, right? Um, we certainly give credit to the to the other team. They did a really good job of ramping up their physicality and uh, their activity on the defensive end, particularly in the paint, where we had done a lot of our damage in the first half. Uh, they were much more active. They went back to the bigger lineup, right, <laughs> because we were going inside. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, a lot of credit goes to them. We had some, we had some layups that we could have converted, but but most of the credit goes to their defense.